Defoe! What they do, what they do. Top of the morning, everybody, how you feeling? All right, careful. I am, I'm feeling good, but I'm a, I'm a little depressed, can't fool. I ain't ashamed to tell you, I'm a little depressed. And I'm a little depressed because I got some bad news earlier this week. My neighbor is in a coma with a brain uh, aneurysm. And it shocked me because I'm like, I just seen the dude, you know, uh, like last weekend, you know, and 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 we chopped it up. We said hi, you know, had a little few minutes of conversation, and just a couple of days ago, I'm taking out my trash. Wife was flagging me down. I'm, I'm like, okay, hey, she never flagged the brother down before. And um, I get closer to her and I see this look on her face. And as I get closer, I instantly knew something ain't right. And so she tells me, she say, uh, I know you haven't been seeing my husband in a couple days. Uh, that's because he's in a hospital. You know, and he's in the hospital with a brain out of, um, blah, 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 I can't say that word right. Aterism. Y'all put the word, tell me how to pronounce that in the comments. A brain agorism, aneurysm. And, um, it's pretty much to the point where he's got to go through surgery. Uh, they want her to pull the plug on him. And uh, he's still in a coma. He's still in a coma. And I've been working my behind off all week, and, you know, trying to take care of my business, trying to get the ass mess. And I told her to, uh, you know, keep praying and that I'm going to come up there the, the, the end of the week. And here it is Sunday, you know. Um, I'm going to go see the brother. I'm going to go to see the brother. You know, um... I'm not going to say his name for privacy reasons. I'm going to say his name is Tom. Okay, we're going to call him Tom. Me and Tom ain't never really hung out, uh, but he did help me out on a few things. You know, I was having some truck, I mean, having some issues with my truck. And the brother came out there, gave me a jump, and he even gave me a couple dollars, you know, to, to, to help me. Um, paid a mechanic to do some work to my truck and you know he had to do that I mean because I ain't, we ain't never really dealt like that you know besides hey how you doing and we still don't deal with each other like that you know so that gave me a whole different outlook I'm like wow why would this man do this you know give me a couple dollars uh, and come out there to help me to get my truck going and I just had a different, totally respect for him, you know. Not that we had any bad vibes or anything, but you know, I just, just amazing, man. You just never know what type of people you may run into, man. And it just hit this, you know, Tom is 55 years young. I'm 42, about to be 43. So that kind of hits home, Ken Folk, that kind of hits home, you know. And I say that to say this to you guys, you never know when your time is up. So I say make peace with yourself, starting off. Make peace with the people that you can't, okay? If people, you, 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 y'all beefing and y'all going through something and they don't want to open up that door to try to work it out, fuck it. I'm just, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, we gonna keep it real on this channel. Fuck, straight up, it is what it is. You know, because you did your part. You reached out, you know, and because you reached out, that blood's not on your hand no more. Sure enough, ain't. 
But um, if there's somebody that you had some issues with or had some beef with, you know, and you kind of consider them family, you know, sometimes the little small petty stuff just ain't worth it, Ken, folks. It, it, it really ain't, man. Life is short, man. Especially for us men, because I mean, let's keep it real. Women live longer than us, you know, because majority of the time we don't take care of ourselves. And two, we just be out here doing stupid shit. So, um, yeah, man, make peace with the people that mean something to you. Make peace with yourself, you know. Live your life. Live your life, Kim Folk only get one you know so whatever it is that you can do uh, uh just just live it man and i'm gonna tell you something when i say live your life living your life all the time doesn't mean that you gotta go spend a whole lot of money because i'm gonna tell you something can folk everybody ain't able everybody ain't able can folk you know but do what you can what's in your budget and sometimes Having a good time will cost you a little bit of nothing. You know, if you live in a major city, there's a lot of free events that you can go to. Sometimes you might just have to pay for parking or pay for food, you know. And sometimes there'll be some local stuff going on around the corner that you just don't know about. And how you find out about these things is, hey, you, you really need to be active on social media. So for a lot of people, obviously you guys are, but for some of the people who say they don't be on social media like that, that's how I find out everything. I can pretty much tell you almost in and everything that's going on in Atlanta. Because if it ain't on Instagram, you know, it's on, um, on, on, on Facebook, you know. So um, live your life, Kenfo. Life is short. Life is short, man. Just never know when your time is up, you know. So I want you guys to live your full potential life with no regrets, whatever it is. All right. So um, I just want to drop that jewel right there, you know. And um, we're about to head to Brady's to um, go visit Tom. And uh, he's in a coma, so uh, I know he's not responsive, but, you know, I do want to go there and kind to hopefully give my blessings, you know, and, uh, and just, 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 just show a good friend that, hey, thank you, you know, uh, you're going to pull up out of this going to pull up out of this and you want to make a full recovery because the doctor's saying even if he do survive and make it he's not going to be full recovery you know but um i got faith man i got faith i i, I think anything is possible you know so i'm hoping for the best all right but anyway though kenfo um i'm gonna keep this video short so if you guys out there that's beefing with somebody y'all not seeing eye to eye only if you consider that person family if you really rocking with them like that if you care with them reach out you know you know a, a pick a, a phone call you know goes a long way do that much now, if they reject your phone call, then fuck them straight up. That's just what it is. You know, blood ain't on your hand no more. Keep moving, baby. Life is too short. All right? Anyway, um, if you guys stuck around this long, y'all know what to do. Like the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave your boy a comment. And, uh... Tell me what y'all think, man. Tell me if y'all y'all beefing with somebody, if you going through it with somebody you ain't heard in a couple weeks, couple months, or maybe a couple years, man. Tell me, you know, leave a comment and tell me how you feel about the situation, you know? Because 
also got another situation that I had with a friend of mine that I'm gonna put in another video and I'm gonna talk to you guys about that. All right. So anyway, Kenfo, let me get on up out of here. I got a long day ahead of me. Um, life is short. Love yourself. Love everybody. Make peace with yourself. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Let's get it.